Hey everybody, welcome back to Terraining Battles. Hope you're having a good day, like my I normally ask. So, um, yeah, so again, got this new team here from last episode with Zygarde Sogalio that we got from our pal Matt Jackson, who again I mentioned has him and I started this channel together. So, we did have a rough start, we lost both our games. First game I was felt like I was in okay control, but I kind of goofed it a little. Um, also, in the second episode, I will admit, uh, thinking back, that, or the second game, Power Construct would have been really nice, because I might have taken an Ice Beam from Carrier, but how much it would have mattered in that situation, I don't think much. So, because yeah, the R Break is cool, because it helps against Eveltal, but um, in general, when there's no Aura Pokemon, then um, Power Construct can be better, so... And I do, I might switch it depending on how it goes just to try out the difference. Because um, I am curious how the, how the power construct works. So, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm also trying to kind of figure out what I want to be bringing versus what exactly. Because I brought the same four last time against Kyogre teams. So, but here is a different team setup for sure with Groudon, Xerneas, Comp, and then Kartana, Lele, and Nagonadol. And Incineroar. When I see Nagonadol, that's always a fun Pokemon to face. So this is, yeah, the kind of game where... You tell me Persian is a good lead versus Groudon teams. Uh, do you want to bring Sigalio? Because we do have that Xerneas to worry about. Like Persian, Sigalio, and then... Which I want is... Ah! The only problem about not bringing Incineroar is that Kartana. And what do they opt if whether they opt to bring Kartana or not? Because looking at it, I feel like they want to bring Groudon, Incineroar, Xerneas, maybe Lele. Hmm. All right, let's try Persian Sigalio. Go Zygarde Finny. Not bring Incineroar much, which I might end up not sure about, but. I think we're all tired of Incineroar anyways, we don't need to see it a ton, so it's on the team, but I'll just try not using it for now. We want to we want to see more Heliolisk in Persian anyways, so let's see, let's see how that goes. Um, okay, so these are any Kartana. We have to fake out pressure. And uh, Solgaleo is in a pretty good spot right now, too. I mean, if I have to guess, they want to switch out Xerneas. I think I just... They wouldn't boost, right? There's no way they would just boost. I think I just fake out the Kartana. Could also Snarl Superpower Kartana. I'll fake out the Kartana. I really want to. I really want a Z move. I don't want a Z move. I want to just Sun Steal because my gut tells me that Incineroar comes in on the Xerneas slot most likely. Uh, if I had more time, if I had more time, I would have gone back. I would have Parting Shotted the Xerneas, but Xerneas actually opts to protect. So a Z move would have been pretty good there. We fake out the Kartana, okay. <sighs> Break any potential Sash on Kartana too. I mean, I want to get a little bit of damage off on Kartana right now. So I'll Snarl. And... Do I want a Sunsteal or a Z-Move? I think I'll save the Z-Move. They might switch it. Nope, they don't. I get the Snarl off. So even if they do live the Sunsteal. That looks like a Sash Kartana. Or at least not an Assault Vest Kartana, I should say, more accurately. Uh, I don't know if this knocks out. It depends how bulky it is, but at least we weaken it with Snarl. And Persian can... I don't know if it can take a plus one attack with the Roselli. Yeah, it does live. Kind of goes for Tailwind. Nope, just goes for Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, there's that Roselli Berry. 
does not. That still does a good chunk. But yeah, Rosalia Blade weakens it. Um, I probably want. I think I preserve Persian because the foul play would be really useful. But I don't know if I want to switch out on Tabu Finny. I guess I'm still kind of worried about Groudon in the back. I like the idea of saving. I want to waste. I kind of want to burn the Z move into the Xerneas because I could see it maybe protecting and just get off whatever's a bunch of damage on whatever switches in. Yeah, I do switch it. So probably. In it's Groudon. Okay, so we get this this attack off on this Groudon here. I'm hoping they go for a Sacred Sword into Persian. They have Tailwind. That makes me think they're sashed. Maybe Z move. Oh, if they're Z move into the Finny Salt, that'd be really bad. But at least we get the train up. Yeah, they go for Sacred Sword into. Okay, cool. All right, so this Groudon's gonna take a bunch of damage. That worked out really well. It switched out. So yeah, switch for protect would have been was the most ideal situation there, and I'm glad I made that call. But let's see what item the Scroudon has. I think I might start. I think I still want to start. Might want to start spamming icy winds. Hmm. What do I want to do here? The problem with switching Infinity now is that Scartana threatens it with um Leaf Blade. Oh, that just outright KO. Is that crit? Yeah, dang, we crit that Groudon. Nice, nice. So we get rid of the biggest threat to Solgaleo. I mean, until this Incineroar comes in with uh, outspeeding me under Tailwind, but they actually have a Lele. Ooh, that's actually, I'm really happy to see that. I can take a Leaf Blade with. No, maybe not that chip that I have. I don't really need Persian anymore. Well, I'm gonna switch it out. I'm gonna protect Solgaleo right now. I just wanna stall out Tailwind. Next turn I'm gonna superpower Kartana. Okay. Ooh, it's a Shadow Ball Lele. Okay, so that is a little scary. I think it's our last turn. I'm ready to double up my Takeo. So Galio, because that, that Shadow Ball is going to hurt. Can't fake out. I think I'm just going to Foul Play Switch. Because then I can Foul Play the Kartana again. If this doesn't knock out. I'll get rid of their Psychic Train here. Shadow Ball. Oh. I don't get the. I don't get that off. Hmm. I'm actually a little terrified of this Cartana right now. Ah, uh, this Cartana is a little terrifying. That's interesting. That they Lele and Cartana are speed tying. Because I'm pretty sure Cartano went for Lele last turn. That's really interesting. I really need to get rid of this Cartano though. So I'm going to superpower it.
Now I'm really curious about this Cartona speed. There's this is this a scarf lately? I mean if they knock out Finny, I get rid of Cartana. Zygarde comes in. I have E speed. Okay. I'm gonna go for the light screen. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I might be faster than this Cartana thing, because that's not a Scarf Lele. Yeah, I'm just faster, so that's not even a max. Okay, nice. That should knock out. Yeah, sweet, so that worked out. Yeah, because that was that was so weird that Lele was spe is speed tying that Cartana, which either meant Lele Scarf with very little. No, because that couldn't be. If it was Scarf. 115 times 1.5? I guess maybe it could have been scarfed and like. <clears throat> but we see it's not scarfed, so. I get light screen up, which is nice. So now I just sun steal. Yeah, because E speed deals with Xerneas. Now I just sun steal this Lele, and I'll just Icy Wind. And if anything, um, if Lele doesn't go down, then <clears throat> I have my choice of e speed targets. That's it. I don't think they get a double KO. Yeah, that's gone. All right, cool. That sh that's a game because uh, e speed just clears up, cleans up Zernius, but Zernius can't knock out Sogalio anyways. It's nice to win. Knock out. Awesome. Sweet. So we get our first win with the team. Sweet. Yeah, that Cartana being slow was really interesting. Probably like a bulky, slow bulky variant. I wonder if they had the berry or the sash. I guess, oh, you know what it was? I think it's an adamant nature, because if I remember right, adamant, max speed Cartana, speed ties Timid Lele, because 161 times 10%, or plus 10% of that, that's a uh, 170. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. That was probably just like adamant instead of jolly. Don't do that. Run jolly. There we go. Find an opponent finally from Illinois. And we see, okay, we see another Kyogre's Sigalio comp with um, Ludicolo. Yeah, Ludicolo. Shoot, Serena, Crobat, and Incineroar. So once again, I anticipate Scarf on this Kyogre. I could be wrong, but usually I anticipate it against when I see Serena. Um, I think I might heal this Finny because I want to start spamming like speed neutralizing moves. Zygard. I don't know if I want to bring Sogalio. I'm actually tempted to bring I'm tempted to bring Persian, but I'm not sure about that. I don't like How do I hit Sogalio? Oh there's Sogalio. I mean my Zygarde does. Persian does. But there's a lot of special attackers. Like Persians I'm not gonna appreciate. Especially two of them that will just outspeed. I guess there's two special attackers the Persian's not gonna appreciate. Uh, I don't know if I want to bring Sigalio. Though it does have wide guard. Alright, I'll bring it. It's a, it's one of my big hitters. I need it. It's the opposing Sigalio I'm a little worried about. So I, I really want to set up Zygarde. So let's start getting some speed control going. It'll probably be my probably my priority. They actually bring Crobat. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe for the Haze option. They could just opt to take out Heliolisk right now. This is probably why I want to Volt Switch. I'm 
gonna switch out into Sogaleo. I wanna save, keep Finny healthy. Kind of an, I'm anticipating a, yeah, a Tailwind. Some damage off on this Crobat. I want to go back out into Sigalio. Or into Finny, I think. I don't know if Zygarde's the right choice here. Not yet. See, I expect Superpower. Oh, it has Zen Headbutt. Yikes, you don't see that on the Sigalio. It's Life Orb, too. Okay. So you could double up Finny. Man, Finny's just like taking a pounding right now. Cause they could Super Fang Zen Headbutt, and the Super Fang is one. I think it's like one point off from getting my berry. Uh, that's irritating. I expect. I was hoping maybe a superpower. I wonder if he even has it. Shoot. I'm gonna set up a light screen. I don't wanna knock out Crobat. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be right into the Finny. Oh no, it's the Galio. Oh, I don't, will I take, no, I don't know if I take this. The way how much that, losing Finny early is not good at all. Yeah, that just takes me out that life orb. See how much the superpower does. <sighs> I'm having trouble against Sogalio. So we had a problem. I had a problem last year, last episode. So I'm not gonna knock out. Ah. I'll let Kyger come in. I'm gonna hope Kyger comes in and I can just white guard it. I bet Kyger has the Z move though. Seeing that Sogalio's life orb. Actually, oh, they switched that out to Serena, because they're blocking E-Speed, that makes sense. Check Zygarde from the Taunt, okay. Makes sense. So when I got Crobat, but they probably get a free switch into Ogre, but if I can get the Wide Guard call right... I also need him to be choiced. I'm trying to remember the rest of their team. I have a feeling this character is not Scarfed and it has the Z move. Because if Sogalia doesn't have the Z move, I don't really know what else is going to have it. I was trying to Tailwind. Do they have Lele? No. Oh, I guess Ludi might have it. Yeah, it is the thing. He has the Z move. That sucks. I don't think Zygarde's taking this. Not with that boost. Man, I wish I'd switch that into. If I'd switch that into the Helio list. I do take it, but they probably just power whipped it. Dang it! Ah! Oh. 
I was hoping the Yuli Kolo had the Z move. I mean, it made sense for that to have it. I need to practice with this more. I am. Because I'm just like taking a lot of damage and not doing a lot back. Because I, I need to. I really need to figure out the setup part a lot better. I just scald Sigalio here. Now they do protect. I'm hoping the combination of attacks takes out Serena, the Electro Web plus the Z move here. Ah, oh, my Sigalio? No. Is my Sigalio at minus one? I think it's at minus one actually. Now that I think about it, because I did superpower. I only ever switched it out. Yeah, shoot. I need a way to hit Sogalio better. I mean, I have two. No, I have. Yeah, I have two Pokemon I can hit it. But Kyogre Sogalio. If I'd bring Incineroar if he didn't have Kyogre. I need to crit this. Yeah, I'm. Like, a second second time we played Kyogre Sogalio, which you don't see a lot of, but that. It's really hard to do because Incineroar does not. Yeah, it lives. Berry. Show me the berry. Yeah. Dang, that was on my because I was at minus one. That cost me. Low sweep. Oh, that's cool. That lowers speed. Alright, I'm gonna forfeit. I can't win this now. Not with that speed drop. Um That was really cool. I wanna play one more game. So this will be a longer episode. Yeah, this is gonna be a longer episode, but I do have to cut out some a couple minutes of waiting time between games, so we can squeeze in a third. I'm really, really wanting to figure this team out, especially that matchup, considering that's the second time we faced it. All right, there we go. Find our next opponent, another player from Italy. Uh, okay, so we see the X Y. Here, okay. This looks like that team on Trainer Tower. X Y, Finny, Landris, Z Move, Landris, Salt Vest, Eveltal, Lungus, and Cinderella. So I went lead in Cinderella. I expect him to lead Veltal. I'm a little worried about that thing. I need a Fear Landris as well. I'm gonna lead Finny and Cineroar. We'll see how this goes. Finally bringing in Cineroar, which I probably should be bringing more often, to be honest. <laughs> And this is where the R break is kind of cool, against, especially against this team, because it'll kind of protect. It can protect both my restricteds from both their restricteds in a way. But I've really got to start trying to get the setup off. That's that's the big thing, because I'm not doing a good job of getting Zagreb to just set up. And maybe I just need to utilize the defensive, like some of the more defensive moves, like Eerie Impulse, Parting Shot, Snarl, Light Screen. So these are nice and Cineroar. Um, so use the faster Cinderor here. Ferriara, yeah. Let's see Surge. Intimidate, my Intimidate. Yeah, okay, so we might either speed tying or we are or in faster. I think I press light screen and roar maybe? Because that covers both options, because I don't just know if I really want. I mean, we could trade fake outs, that doesn't bother me either. Yeah, I really don't mind trading fake outs.
Because if I can get the fake out and the light screen off for free, that would be pretty fantastic. So I don't think I want to roar. He's not. I don't think he's geomancy, honestly. And yeah. See, they didn't. So they're gonna U-turn or knock off, I would guess. Yeah, U-turn. Probably into Landris. I don't have a switch into that. Yeah, and usually I think that's a good play because usually I would do that too. Like I'll U-turn if I'm the slower fake out. Just depends what I'm leading next to. They brought Landris. This would be the time to go into it. And I, I mean, I don't. No, they're bringing, they leave that out. Okay. Maybe they didn't bring Landris because this would have been a really good time to bring it in. So I'm just gonna go for Icy Wind right now. I really want a U-turn, but I also don't want Xerneas to just set up on me. I'm gonna roar Xerneas. I wanna play it safe. I mean, I don't think you would Geo in front of a Finian and Xenoroar, which those a lot of times will carry Roar or Haze or both. <laughs> So I don't I don't expect him to geo, but I don't. Yeah, they don't. So that was a good dazzling game. So I'll get icy wind off one too. Okay, that they probably wanted to call that uh, switch out. Okay, that's fine. At least I don't have to worry about geo. Geo geo might just freaks me out. See if they can find out what their last Pokemon is. Oh, I did bring Landris. Hmm. Can Finny take a hit here? Yikes. Okay, so I'm gonna Icy Wind. I don't wanna switch. I'm gonna just try and U turn out. I'm gonna try and U turn out here. I don't know if Finny's taking a Z move, because we might Z move Finny. But I don't think Landers is taking Zagalio's Z move either, and I will be faster. Barring, I don't even think I'll get to throw out a Talon here if it's. Oh, it's probably Salt Vest though. This team is usually Salt Vest. Or at least the team on Tra that one on Trainer Tower. But yeah, he has the option to knock out either of my Pokemon with the Z move right now, and I would. Definitely go for it because I don't have a I don't have a ground resist or a ground switch. Yeah, so let's see what he opts to take out. I would guess the Finny during the icy wind. And he doesn't have a no. He does have a switch into so Alio's in there. Yeah, so let's should probably knock out Finny. I mean, maybe there's a chance I live because I am pretty bulky and bold nature. And if he's no. I'm saying if he's a jolly nature. So I get this U turn off. Oh, I'm faster after that icy wind? Shoot. Well, let's go into Zygarde. Don't want to risk foul play coming out of here. Oh, that's even better. Okay. So we'll go back out and do Incineroar. So I can fake out Coil. Noticing I'm losing Finny way too easily. It's just like a sitting duck against all of these hitters all the times. Also the roar play wasn't the bad. I wish I had U-turned there. 
because now I could have gone right on to Sigalio and would have felt a lot better. All right, let's fake out Landris. Do I fake out Landris? I mean, that's gonna probably. I mean, what's Evitel doing? I think Landers is going to switch out. More coil. Uh... Oh, he goes, he just... Mm. It's okay. Gosh, you just go right for Swords Dance. My goodness. What are you doing? I should have faked out. I mean, I guess if I don't fake out, it's not like you're really threatened. Oh man, what are you going for with Evatol? Okay, let's go into Sigalio. I can threaten Sigalio, or I can threaten Landris with Sigalio at least. This goes for Sword Stance. Foul play. Okay, that's fine. Galio should take a hit with that aura break up. So let's go after. I'm going after this Landers right now. How many thousand arrows? Yeah, so we were to Landers right now. Which is, I think, really good. Because I think threatening Sigalio and instant aurora. Problem is, Sigalio still has to take a hit from. Evil Toll. Probably gonna take a foul play. That's gonna hurt. Well, maybe. With the Dark Aura and Sigalio has higher physical defense. We shall see. This should. I, mean, I don't see. I don't anticipate Landers surviving this. I really don't. Okay, good. So we're to that. Get off. Plus 1,000 arrows. Should. She won't do a lot, but it... Actually, I might be able to get it with another Thousand Arrows. Yeah, there's the Foul Play into Sigalio. I think this is just less than half, I remember. Oh, that did more. Shoot. Sounds Xerneas is going to be a problem. And Sucker Punch. Yeah, that foul play did way more than I expected, because I thought earlier in last yesterday's episode it didn't do that much. E Speed won't get. Isn't gonna get that. I go into Incineroar. That's fair. Seems like a good time to coil and switch Sogalio out. I don't think Sogalio could take a moon blast actually. Kind of have to at some point. So let's switch out and let's coil. It's a safe time to coil. Get my um, attack stat back up. And if we can chip Incineroar, I can beat it with a superpower. And Zevatil probably has Sucker Punch. Eevee sets generally will have Sucker Punch. So Sucker Punch Snarl should be its last two moves. Really regretting going for that roar that turn. I mean, there's no way they were gonna geo. They should. They knew better. Not in front of a Finny and an Incineroar. One of those is carrying something. So at least intimidate Incineroar here. I can see him faking out Zygarde. Uh, yeah. Then foul play. Yep. So I actually I could have knocked out Evitol. But this works out for me as well. Um, do I want to fake out? I think I want to fake out and. S Actually, I might just go for a flare blitz into the Evatol. So if I can just knock that out. My guess is, yeah, my guess is Incineroar wants to switch out into Xerneas. And then they have a fake out. 
the ability to fake out. I'm gonna have Flare Blitz Incineroar and Coil. Yep. So I'll get you this with the Flare Blitz. Because if I had knocked out if I had knocked out Eveltal, then they would go out and free switch back into Incineroar, which would have then given them uh Yeah, that would have given them the fake out Geomancy play. I didn't want that. Instead you get that damage off and hopefully they pop my berry on Incineroar here. Because Evatol is just not a huge threat. Oh, Incineroar, the living that. He's gonna get health back, unfortunately. How long am I gonna take a, an attack from Xerneas, though? What am I at? I'm at plus one. If I just get into E speed range, I'll feel a lot better. So this might be a protect switch, but yeah, the switch makes sense because you want to you gotta intimidate both my Pokemon here. But I at least get this thousand arrows off onto Incineroar. So then you can fake out Geo. Yeah. I kinda wish nah. Maybe switching to Seattle would have been fine. You're gonna fake out Incineroar. No doubt about that one. Because you, you, you have to fear the roar. Uh, I can take a Flare Blitz. I lose this? Do I switch out? And if they fake out Zygarde, but you have to fake out Incineroar. I don't know, I feel like you have to fake out Incineroar. Like, you, you can get Roar, because you can just get Roared out. the Geo. I don't know if we'll get this into extreme speed range or not. But that's what I need right now. I doubt it. Zygarde's weak. I'm at neutral again. Yeah. Okay. But with the aura break... Maybe, 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 maybe. I doubt it though. So Galio takes a hit. Boost of Zygarde don't Zygarde doesn't feel very relevant right now. I want to go for Dazzling Gleam. Maybe it'll be that Evitol in the back, which is Zygarde can do. Go for Dazzling Gleam. Please go for Dazzling Gleam. <sighs> They're smart. They're too smart. This white guard's not helping me. Oh, I lived. Holy crap. I wish I had not wet guarded now. Definitely gonna knock out. Ah! Maybe they knock out uh, the other thing. Wow, that, I can't believe I lived that. The plus one plus the R the R break. Um. But Evil Sucker Punch. Ugh. 
I don't even know if e-speed takes out his earnings. It should. I imagine it does. Can I live a sucker punch? I am at plus two. Maybe I- Oh, you know, I probably could live a sucker punch. Um, you switch out Incineroar. I need E-Speed to kill. I just need E-Speed to knock out. I mean, they're gonna switch out Incineroar. I do protect. So I can E-Speed it this turn and Flare Blitz Eveltal. Oh, but they're gonna live, they're probably gonna live the E speed. Oh, I should have roared that turn. Man, they are not respecting the roar. Well, I'm hoping on E speed here. I don't know if it's gonna knock out. I have a good suspicion it's not. I could have just roared there. E speed roar would have been pretty safe. Oh, okay, that knocks out. Cool. My Flare Blitz the Veltal. Oh, they messed up the Sucker Punch. E-Speed has plus two. Yeah, E-Speed has plus two priority, so it's going to go before Sucker Punch. Alright, so they goofed that. Good game. I don't know. If, I don't know. Maybe I should have roared there. Oh, man. Yeah, our break. That's where our break was uh, awesome. I can't believe I lived that Moon Blast. My goodness. I'm gonna look at that again and like look at the exact calc on that. I'm also gonna try and shave off as many minutes of this as I can uh, for in between the games. That was a long third game. So, okay, uh, just uh, I think I saw my berry too. Just an e speed. He can fake out whoever he wants, but not before. All right, cool. So somehow eke out a win there. Um, yeah, I need to rewatch that. I don't know how I did that. Having Incineroar or Fake Out, really useful. But again, man, I'm letting Finny go down too soon. Because if I can get Finny Zygarde going, that's the whole key. So I need to think about how to make that work better. Alright guys, I'll cut it out here. I'm going to try and cut out some time to shorten this video. So, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, 